Washing of the microtiter plate is critical to the performance of the ELISA. At Cygnus Technologies, we've experienced that most common customer problems are caused by microtiter plate washing equipment or bad technique. The primary goal of washing a plate is to remove unbound reactants. However, many technicians fail to recognize that this process can also dissociate antibody-bound reactants. Our experience has shown us that automated microtiter plate systems and other handheld vacuum aspiration devices significantly worsen the precision of the assay compared to the manual method that will be demonstrated here. Our approach is actually faster and it's less labor intensive than automated systems that require constant maintenance, adjustments, priming, cleaning, and calibration. All that's required is a low lint absorbent paper and a one liter plastic wash bottle. It's recommended that you cut off the narrow portion of the tip of the wash bottle to create the largest possible orifice. This will allow the flow to be generous and gentle. Before getting started, prepare the wash solution in advance of testing to minimize delays. To do this, empty the contents of the wash concentrate provided in your kit into the one liter wash bottle. Then fill it with distilled water. Now that you've finished your preparation, let's demonstrate how to dump the liquid reactants from the plate. It's best to do this over a large sink, as it can be somewhat messy. First, grab the plate from the bottom with your thumb in the middle of one side and your fingers on the other side. If your thumbs and fingers slightly overlap the tabs on the ends of the strips, you should be able to prevent them from falling out of the strip holder. Next, hold the plate over the sink and then turn the plate upside down while rapidly accelerating your arm and hand downward in one single motion. Then, abruptly stop your arm. This will force the liquid from the strips into the sink. When done properly, you should not get any liquid on your fingers or on the outside of the strip wells and plate holder. Next, immediately tap the plate gently and evenly on your blotting paper once. Do not slam the plate too hard, as this may cause variable dissociation due to the transference of unequal amounts of shock energy across the plate. Now you're ready to perform a manual washing using the 20X diluted wash solution that you prepared earlier. First, use your wash bottle to fill all wells, starting at the top of the plate, working toward the bottom. Fill the wells until they are overflowing. Don't worry about overflowing them, as you will need to wipe off the bottom of the wells before adding substrate. Be sure that the wash solution doesn't soak in the wells, and only use the wash solution provided in your Cygnus kit. As soon as the last well is filled, immediately dump and firmly tap the plate on your blotting paper exactly as you did earlier. Repeat this washing procedure three more times for a total of four washes. With the second and fourth washes, start by adding the wash solution, moving from the bottom toward the top of the plate. This ensures that the total dwell time of the wash solution will be essentially the same for all wells. Additional wash steps are not necessary. Doing this may dissociate specific bound analyte and reduce assay sensitivity. After the final wash, blot and tap your plate eight to 10 times on the unused sections of your blotting paper. When finished, wipe the bottom exterior of all wells with a clean absorbent paper. This will remove any remaining wash liquid caused by overfilling and tapping the plate. Once this is completed, the wells are now ready for substrate to be added to them. Be sure to add substrate immediately after washing. Do not let the wells dry out, as some enzymatic activity will be lost. With all Cygnus products and methods, our technical support team is available to assist you in the successful qualification of our products for your analytical needs. To connect with our experts, visit us online at cygnustechnologies.com. Complete our technical support form and we'll promptly respond to your inquiry.